Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Tuesday, October 29th. A wild weather pattern across the nation. Record breaking or near record breaking cold in the western U.S. has spread to the central part of the nation. The cold front at the leading edge of that uh, cold air mass will arrive in the eastern U.S. in the Thursday night, early Friday time frame. Very likely to be some heavy rainfall in the eastern U.S. on Thursday night. That follows a warm, windy, wet day on Halloween Day, Thursday. Again, heavy rainfall possible Thursday night into early Friday, maybe even some a strong to severe thunderstorms in the eastern U.S. as far as the west and central part of the nation concerned. Very, very cold for this time of the year. It's a few spots have seen the coldest temperature ever recorded in the month of October and some accumulating snowfall today, several inches in many parts of Colorado, and then over the next few days from Nebraska to Wisconsin, some accumulating snow. But again, we've seen some uh, uh, places here. Garden City, Kansas, for example, has set its all-time October low down to about 13 degrees. And still kind of early in the morning here, there may be uh, an additional drop of a degree or two. All-time record low for the month of October set in Rock Springs, Wyoming. This map, by the way, from coolweather.com, C-O-O-L-W-X.com. Again, some severe cold for this time of the year, extending from California to Wisconsin. This cold air mass slowly slides to the east in a modified form. It definitely will modify as it slides uh, across the Great Lakes and finally reaches the Mid-Atlantic region on Friday. Much cooler on Friday compared to Thursday, which again is Halloween day and will be a warm day ahead of the front in the eastern U.S. Warm but wet. Once we get into the cooler regime here on Friday, it stays cooler over the weekend. In fact, turns a little bit cooler over the weekend in the eastern U.S. And it looks like once it's cooler, the normal weather pattern sets up. It'll stick around right through the early part of the month of November. Well, let's take a look at a still radar image from WSI's and telecast.com. Not really showing up here on radar, but there will definitely be some drizzle around in the I-95 corridor region from D.C. to Philadelphia, New York City, especially north of the Mason-Dixon line. With kind of an onshore flow of air with high pressure off the eastern seaboard. That will keep us cloudy here in the mid-Atlantic region. Again, some patchy drizzle at times, and maybe even some light rain today and tonight, and really going into the day on Wednesday. Meanwhile, out in the west, this is the area for some significant snow accumulation today, centered on Colorado. Then over the next couple of days, Nebraska to Wisconsin could get in the action in terms of some accumulating snow again. Record cold temperatures right now in many spots in the western half of the nation. It has spilled over into the central U.S. and there's a reinforcing cold air mass coming now into the northwestern part of the nation. So for this time of the year, uh, a very cold uh, weather pattern for the next a couple of days out in the western and central part of the nation. That cold air will modify some as it moves to the east over the next few days. Well, here's a total precipitation forecast map from NOAA last night for the next five days. This ends in the period ending Sunday morning. Notice some significant rainfall in the mid-Atlantic region, northeastern U.S. That primarily falls Thursday, Thursday night into early Friday as that strong cold front arrives in the mid-Atlantic region. Again, during the day on Thursday, Halloween day, warm, windy, wet, Philadelphia, New York City, D.C., occasional showers. Then Thursday night, especially in the overnight hours, could be some heavy rainfall associated with the arrival of this strong cold front, and there can be some strong to severe thunderstorms as well. Significant rain down across the Tennessee Valley over the next few days associated with this slow-moving cold frontal system. All this out here, accumulating snow. Again, significant accumulations in parts of Colorado over the next 12 to 24 hours or so. Well, let's take a look at last night's 6Z GFS model run. First of all, some accumulating snow out across the Rocky Mountain states, and again, significant amounts of snowfall, more than 8 inches in some spots across the Colorado Rockies. Notice strong high pressure here continuing to 
uh, produce some uh, strong winds into the northern half of California. That will continue the wildfire pattern over the next couple of days. But there are signs that that will improve. The conditions will improve by the latter part of this week. Meanwhile, not really showing up here on, in the models or on radar, but there is some patchy drizzle around. We have kind of an onshore flow of air in the uh, mid-Atlantic region's uh, coastal sections and drizzle all the way back into the Philly area, the Philly suburbs, maybe even into D.C. and certainly New York City can get some drizzle not only today but tonight as well. Let's now push forward here and we'll see all this moisture starting to gather in the south central U.S. Tennessee Valley. And this is uh, by the middle part of the week and again can be some accumulating snow over the next couple of days uh, spilling out from the Colorado Rockies into the central U.S. from Nebraska all the way to Wisconsin over the next couple of days, accumulating snow is indeed a threat. Then this moisture starts to push to the north and east just in time for Halloween Day. Here we have uh, uh, on the, uh, the east side of this cold frontal system a breezy, warm day on Thursday in the D.C. to New York City corridor, perhaps high temperatures at 70 degrees on Thursday afternoon, but there will be occasional showers and it will be windy, kind of a miserable day. And then as this front arrives in the overnight hours, especially anytime really from 8 p.m. on a Thursday night, can be some heavy rainfall in the I-95 corridor region, perhaps even some strong thunderstorms as that cold front arrives. This is late Thursday night going into the early morning hours of Friday. That's the uh, arrival time of the strong cold front. That's the possible time for some heavy rainfall, maybe some strong thunderstorms in Philly, D.C., New York City. Notice accumula accumulating snow all the way into the Great Lakes region on Thursday night and going into the day on Friday. This rain should pull out of the eastern U.S. early Friday, much cooler on Friday, perhaps 10 to 15 degrees cooler on Friday compared to the unusually warm day on Thursday and then it turns even cooler over the upcoming weekend. We can see these thickness values here 552 on Saturday and let's move forward here as we go into the morning on Sunday. Notice the 540 line, the thickness line uh, all the way across the I-95 Carter region. So it actually gets progressively cooler over the upcoming weekend. The real first cooler day will be Friday but it turns even cooler by the second half of the upcoming weekend and again it looks like once this cooler than normal pattern sets up it'll stick around for a while throughout much of the uh, northern and eastern part of the nation going into the first perhaps even the second week of the month of November. That's it for now for PerspectiveWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.